Your this perp back with another video, and I just got done listening to Future's brand new album they just put out called "I Never Liked You." There's a lot of uh, stuff brewing around this album and just Future in general with him being around Kevin Samuels. I don't know nothing about that, so I'm not gonna speak on that. I'm just gonna speak on the music, just give you my first impressions and just how I feel about the track list and just what I skipped what I liked and yeah give you just my overall thoughts at the end so definitely let me know how you feel about this project in the comments below how, how do you feel as a future fan I want to ask future fans like how do you feel about this album how do you feel about future as a whole in music currently in 2022 just let me know in the comments below because I'm not the biggest future fan I'll be honest but I do like a lot of his songs. You know what I'm saying? I do like a lot of songs on here, but there's definitely some things that we can get into that I don't really... I see the shortcomings in this. And we're going to get into all that. So first, I want to talk about the, this uh, cover art. How do y'all feel about the cover art? I feel like it's cool. It's, um, it's pretty average. Um... It's nothing too over the top. It's just him in the back seat of I don't know what car, probably a Maybach or some shit. Or uh, 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 um, what was that? Uh, Rolls Royce or some shit. I don't know. And he just got a purple suit. You see, like just not really any chains, any shit, and you know what I'm saying. So I don't know. It doesn't really match. I don't know. It doesn't really match the album. Once you hear it, I don't know. It's weird to me. How do y'all feel about it? Let me know. Track list. There's like 16 tracks. And out of the 16, I would say there's like, at least for me personally, I feel like there's like six or seven skip, maybe six, maybe six skips or seven skips for me. I really think this album starts off really strong with the first track. And then it goes into I'm that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then keeping it burning with Kanye. Kanye's verse on this, I don't feel like he wrote that. I feel like somebody wrote that for him. I don't know, man. Because that that was a really good verse by Kanye. I feel like that was a very uh, strong start to the album. Even though I don't think Future could really follow up in that track with him. Um, for a nut, that shit is just... <laughs> I don't know who that's for, but it's just... <laughs> I had to skip that. That was a skip for me. Um, track five, you know, puffing on uh, zoo ties. Um, if that's how, if that's how it's pronounced, or it, it's weird. I, I like that song though. And uh, gold stacks. That's kind of a skip for me. Then we get to the Drake features, you know, because we see the two Drake features, and I already called it that. Like, when just based off the title, that waiting for you was going to be like that simpy type of track but it's it's a dope track though it is a really solid track i feel like um but I, i'll get into uh, my thoughts about the drake features on here after we get to like track 15 but once you get past wait for me you get be uh love you better that was a really solid track you get to massaging me then chickens then we just want to get high. that's where it kind of dwindles off for me that's where i can kind of hit. a lot of those tracks are like just hit or miss for me the uh, the track with kodak kodak doing the, the verse for voodoo that shit was really dope and then future comes with kind of like a subpar kind of part but obviously kodak just carries that holy ghost is another one that kind of it just it just felt like filler then it, it, it i feel like it finished decently strong with the last three tracks the drake features like i said i think these two drake features are probably some of the weakest that we've gotten like compared to other drake and future collaborations overall though i think the production is very solid for what it is um definitely on the track with waiting for you i think that that whole just how that came together was is really dope it's a real 
it's a real vibe like you could just chill to it you know what i'm saying it's a it's a it's a goofy song but at the same time i think you can still find enjoyment out of this album i think it's an average future album in my opinion i don't think it was nothing too groundbreaking because i i was kind of getting hyped like listen to the first like three tracks and just then it kind of was hit or miss and i think it just really missed the marks towards like the middle going in towards the end and stuff but other than that let me know how you guys feel about this album and how you feel about future as a whole like i said has he fallen off is this is one of his worst projects he's ever put out i don't know i thought it's pretty decent we'll see how it does and how people feel about it or they're just gonna forget about it a week from now they're not really gonna talk about it yeah so till next time i'll see y'all in the next one peace